What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by bookmark.com. They're of course a really, really awesome way to go ahead and design a full on website. All you have to do is basically go ahead and sign up. So go ahead and hit start now and you can sign in with Facebook or Google Plus or simply use your email like I'm about to do. And afterwards, all it's going to do is ask you seven questions and its algorithms are actually going to go ahead and figure out the best website for you. Alright, so I just signed up for an account and as you guys can see, we have something called AIDA. What exactly does this allow you to do? Well, Bookmark's Artificial Intelligence Design Assistant allows you to create a fully automated website directly in front of your eyes simply by answering seven questions. Let's go ahead and check out what these seven questions are. So the first one is what type of website are you creating? And as you guys can see, there's a lot of options here, accommodations, restaurants, social media marketing, um, and the options are pretty much endless. As you guys can see, here are the most popular ones, photographs, coffee shop, artist, personal brand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select something like social media marketing, that seems pretty relevant to this channel. And if you don't see your category, simply select a business type that is nearest to yours, and of course you can tweak it later on. Now of course, you do have to name your website, so don't worry, you can actually change this afterwards and you can connect it to Facebook here and take the name from your Facebook page or your actual Facebook from here as well. But you know what, for now, for simplicity's sake, we're simply gonna call this website Smart Tech. Oh well, I guess that's not spelled right. Okay, there you go. And next off, do you need to add e-commerce? So of course, Smart Tech, we don't really sell things, but if you actually want to go ahead and create an online shopping site, you simply hit yes, and it will add something like a car and I don't know, like a way for people to buy things and transactions to go through directly onto this site. I'm just gonna hit no next for now. Is this your website? So of course, here are some existing sites, but these are not my website, so we're just gonna hit no next. And next off, you do need some contact details, so I'm just gonna do, I don't know, it's, I guess some random phone number. Let's just go with that as the phone number, and then we just need, you know what, we'll just do that as the phone number. And as an address, we'll do 1 Main Street. And for the city, we're just gonna do something like, let's go with, Woodbridge and for the country we are of course in the USA and of course you can go ahead and edit all this information later as well next off you're gonna go ahead and choose a site layout so of course here the menu is on top and of course right here the menu is on the left and right here, the menu is also on the top, but this is of course a multi-page setup. So if you want multiple pages or if you want a single page, if you're doing something like a brand or if you want someone to stay on one page and not have to deal with load times and things, then a single page is probably for the best. And of course, if you want people to be clicking through your website, going from, I don't know, product to product or something of those sorts, then you probably want a multi-page setup. In this case, you know what, we could stick with a sing single page. So I'm simply gonna hit next. And now of course, we got ourselves some tech things. So what should we choose these are all some really nice images I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this and this this seems very techy and it kind of looks like my thumbnails so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and oh by the way if you take a look right here all images are royalty free and can be changed at any time so let's go ahead and hit next what is your website style help us better understand your personal preference something interesting I just realized if you don't actually like those images you can simply hit previous and it'll actually give you a whole new somewhat set of images so it all depends on what you guys are feeling. Now, are we feeling bright, fresh, clean, bold, modern, or sophisticated? I feel like everything is very modern and clean these days, and that's the way to go in terms of websites if you want people to stay on your website. So I'm simply gonna hit that. And just like that, within 30 to 60 seconds, it's gonna create the website all by itself. From here on out, it's gonna do some automated things and it's basically gonna create the website right in front of your face. <laughs> and so just like that, your website is ready. Now simply edit as much or as little as you like and all the images and videos in your website are for you completely free. Now you can also connect a domain from here. So you know what, I'm just gonna go do that because why not? So here's a random domain that I registered for the sake of this video, smarttechyoutube.com. I'm just gonna hit continue. And of course, this is where it's gonna show you all the different plans. So of course, you have a 14 day money back guarantee. It's 100% safe. And you can use all of these payment processing networks to go ahead and 
get this option but with that said i just wanted to show that off to you guys but for now we're going to go ahead and show you what the actual website looks like so as you can see here is your website and you can create a new website you can start editing website so if you don't actually really like this website from here on out you can actually just tell it to go ahead and just start from scratch but you know what i actually really like the design of this it looks very sleek so what's next here are all the different options you have you can recreate it but i don't really want to do that you can change the website style change the website fonts you know that's something we might have to do so let's go ahead and change the font and just like that it's going to go ahead and change the font and it'll do everything directly in front of you as if it's a tutorial right in front of your face with a full-on mouse how cool is that so of course if you want to go ahead and do that on your own you can go and change that again as well here are all the different random options we'll go through those in just a second let's go ahead and see if we can add or delete some modules so i'm just gonna hit add and delete and once again we can just hit show me how and it's gonna go into modules and it'll give you a full-on tutorial right in front of you. These are your website modules. Drag and drop the spacer module onto your website. And just like that, we're going to put this right here because why not? And just like that, we have a full-on space right there. How cool is that? You can also delete it if you don't really want it there. Now, next off, I'm going to try to change some of these pictures. Some of these pictures are a little bit obnoxious or don't fit the actual vibe. And as you can see, you can go ahead and click any of these images, hit change image, and you have all of these options. Or you can even put your own images in there. How cool is that? Last but not least, you can go ahead and publish the website or connect a domain and even do SEO directly from this. So I'm going to do one more for the sake of this. And let's just show, let's see, let's just see what this does. Here's, of course, all of the different page options that we have. And we're going to go and maybe uh, tweak one of these names. Learn section. And just like that, we've tweaked one of those names. But I just wanted to see how to do it. I'm actually going to go and change this to what I want now. So once again, I'm simply going to jump into my focus section. And I'm going to hit that. I'm going to edit the name to Epic Tech. And just like that. We have tweaked our website all on our own without the automation doing anything for us. So we're done with this. So what if we want to go and tweak some of these because they look a little off to us. Well, as you can see, everything gets highlighted in black when we go and hover around them, which means that you can actually go and drag and drop and extend things directly from here. So I'm simply going to take the spacer and put it down there. Maybe I want to learn more up here because I don't know, it sticks out a little bit more. Okay, that doesn't look that great. So we have to actually take this down a little bit more. Um, let's just put this over here. Okay, that looks a lot better. Um, maybe this needs to be a little bit higher. And just like that, we've thinned that out a little bit. And you know what, this guy's bugging me a little bit. So we're actually going to change that image. And you know what, we're going to go for this guy because he looks a lot more interesting. So simply hit that, and just like that, we've changed the image. Now you have a bunch of other options here too, like how to center the image, and of course you can get some images off Pinterest, and you can of course edit the text as well. So I'm just going to go and edit the text and say, this guy is epic. And there you go. But my text isn't centered, and that's going to bug me. So you know what, we're going to go and try to center this text real quick. Um, you can do that simply by, you know, deleting all this, but... There are options here for spacing and if you want to add bullet marks, the line spacing, the text color, maybe we want to go with the epic red, maybe we want to underline that text, I italicize and bold that text all in one go. And just like that, I've done all that. And if you really want to get picky with colors, you can. There's a full on scroll wheel in terms of colors as well. How cool is that? So of course, as you guys can see, there's also the modules that we saw earlier, and these are endless. There are so many things you can possibly do here. There's code, there's a file download option, there's audio you can add, you can add a full-on video if you want, or you can just simply add a simple icon. You know what, we're gonna do that right now. I want an icon right there, because why not? And I just want people to scroll, I guess, and just like that, we added this cool little icon directly right there. There's also a file download option, a subscribe form. You know what, maybe I want that. That definitely doesn't, well, actually, you know what? That looks pretty nice, I like that right there this all of a sudden doesn't look that nice so we're just gonna hit x and just like that it's completely gone and the whole website rearranges itself to fit that updated change how cool is that we're gonna add one more because this one's pretty important you might need a paypal button we're just gonna go ahead and put that let's see where should we put a paypal button we should probably have it way at the bottom down here maybe 
and yeah I'm just gonna put it right there and just like that we have a buy now option as well in case you're selling tickets or something of those sorts all in all as you guys can see look at all this I didn't do a single thing I almost did nothing all I did was drag around a few things and click a few buttons and let this thing do everything it even changed the font for me so all in all guys this is probably the easiest way to make a website and the last thing I'm gonna do is simply hit publish and let's go ahead and check out our very own website and what it will look like alright so I just went ahead and saved and published that's my name smarttech1.bookmark.com and of course we're gonna click this and let's just check out what our website looks like in the real world how awesome is that unfortunately I don't really know any of these people so we'll probably go ahead and add a few more of our own images and if I actually choose to use this site which I actually might for the because the smart tech doesn't really have a website right now then of course we're pretty much set to go on all guys bookmarks artificial intelligence does really work it got the job done and it looks like something that can actually bring in some uh, subscribers and things for us so bookmark.com good job on that end once again guys you can go ahead and sell stuff on this this is for e-commerce as well and the last thing this is completely free if you go ahead and add a domain and do a few more expensive things you can get one of their plans but you don't have to the entire process in terms of them actually creating the website for you is more or less free check out the link below go ahead and check them out make your own website thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off